Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Alright, so here's an analogy. You know how if you cut yourself and you get through the protective layer of skin, if the cut's deep enough to where it penetrated into the tissue, well obviously this presents a scenario where you need to disinfect the wound. And when you do disinfect the wound, it hurts, right? We've all seen it before, especially in the movies. You take a bottle of vodka and dump it on the wound, followed by the screeching performance. Ah, it burns. And I guess the lesson at the end of the day is that if you're going to clean an infection, well, sometimes it can be a little bit of a painful process. And in this case, this wound analogy, well, let's just say that CNN is the wound, and Donald Trump's campaign spokeswoman, well, she's the alcohol, she's the antiseptic solution coming in to neutralize that CNN bacteria threat. Let me show you guys exactly what happened. CNN throws a hissy fit and shuts down Trump's campaign spokeswoman live on air. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so I think I pretty much laid the groundwork in the intro. I don't think I need to literally explain what happened. Just take a look. So it takes someone five minutes to Google Jake Tapper, Donald Trump, to see that Jake Tapper has Ma consistently stopped this interview if you're going to keep President attacking Trump my colleagues. Ma'am, I'm going to stop no, this interview I'm, if you I'm continue stating... to attack my colleagues. I would like to talk about I Joe Biden stating... and Donald Trump, who you work for. Yes. If you are and here we... to speak on his behalf, and I, I will am willing to have this conversation. I am stating facts that your colleagues have stated in the past. Okay. Now, as I'm for sorry, this guys, debate, we're going to come back out to the panel. Caroline, thank you very much for your time. You are welcome to come back at any point. She is welcome to come back and speak about Donald Trump. And Donald Trump will have equal time to Joe Biden when they both join us now at next early later this week in Atlanta for this debate. An absolute tantrum. This CNN host starts squealing like little Eric Cartman from South Park. <laughs> the moment she's confronted with the facts. You know, I guess you could say it's the typical cry-bully tactic. Launch constant, vicious, dishonest attacks against other people, engage in malicious propaganda campaigns, and then, of course, when someone calls you out on it, I guess when the counter-strike hits, well, all of a sudden, woe is me. I'm the victim. Either that or feign moral outrage. Sitting on your high horse. How dare you! How dare you attack my colleague? As if the attack is unfounded, or as if it's an unacceptable territory to venture into. Spare me the phony moral outrage, mostly because there's nothing to be outraged about. What's being said here isn't an outrageous, unfounded attack, but rather it's just the truth, it's reality. How can you possibly justify Jake Tapper hosting this debate when he's obviously and provably such a biased actor? I mean, it's not like it's a mystery or anything. It's not like Jake Tapper works some private job hidden away from the public in a dimly lit office. Most of what the guy does and says, well, it's happening publicly. Most of it is broadcast to hundreds of thousands of people. And whoa, I almost said broadcast to millions of people there. But of course, we're talking about CNN here. I think hundreds of thousands is probably more accurate. Maybe even hundreds if you discount all the nursing homes and airports playing CNN constantly. But anyways, the point is it's been happening for all of us to see. This case isn't going to be settled legally in a cafe, it's going to be settled in the court based on the, the facts and law. The folks in the control room, I don't need to see any more of that. He, this, he's trying to turn this in. He's trying to turn it into a spectacle, into a campaign ad. That's enough of that. We've seen it already. Uh, let's go over again the 37 charges that Donald Trump is facing uh, right now. President Trump pushing a brand new conspiracy theory, one seemingly grounded more in suspicions and his desire for a counter narrative than it is based on established facts. It's worth remembering that while we're sticking to the facts and telling you just what we know, President Trump apparently has no such constraints since he simply makes stuff up. He frequently lies and has a long and well-documented career engaging in conspiracy theories about all manner of subjects with no concrete evidence ever provided. He's focused on propelling a counter narrative to try to undermine the special counsel investigation. It's a, a fable in which he is the victim and law enforcement officials are the bad guys. Jake Tapper is not just a partisan, he's an aggressive partisan. You know, I'd argue he's a disgrace to the title journalist. So again, where's this horrible, outrageous lie and vicious attack? How dare you talk about Jake Tapper in that manner? Well, of course, there was no lie. Just a valid criticism, and it's not just Jake Tapper. Of course, the debate is being hosted by two CNN talking heads, Jake Tapper and Dana Bash. Yeah, surprise to no one, she's no better. So to think that the Congress is going to solve this, they, can, they barely can get a post office name these days. It's true. I mean, yeah. and you can go down the list of Supreme Court decisions that kicked 
whatever issue over across the street over to Congress, yeah. whether it is, um, I mean, an Obamacare, uh, which is something that the Democrats were very happy about when they yeah. when they did that, a different little bit of a different kind of court. Uh, voting rights, I think, is maybe the primary example right. of what you're saying before this. Um, you know, look, unfortunately for America, the court ne isn't necessarily wrong that this is the way the framers wanted it to be. They wanted Congress, the people who are closest to their constituents, to be able to make the, the rules of the laws. The truth is, these are two horrible, vicious partisans, and CNN just simply cannot surrender to that fact. So instead, they throw a tantrum. In other words, the expected spoiled child behavior that we've seen before. The people that you don't connect with and understand, the people whose manufacturing jobs have left, who've been besieged by high crime communities, and who've been affected by a policy of uncontrolled immigration, those voices, those experiences, don't get covered on this network. That's so, why, the, I, mean, I mean, to prove the point, I was, I was booked to talk about the very issues I'm just describing, and you're not even asking about them, because they're not interesting facts to you. That's not true. I have plenty of questions on immigration. You've attempted to filibuster by talking about your flights no, to the I'm president. Not, I'm, no, I want to ask a you a question, because uh, you, don't, you, No, you, don't you, be you, condescending. You, Jake, Jake. Steven, Jake, the president the reason, and the no, White House. The reason why the I want to talk the about... The president Jake, and the White House. the reason why I want to talk about... The president's experiences, what I've seen with him traveling to meet dozens of foreign leaders, with his incredible work. Okay, you're not answering major, the questions. No, I understand. You have 24 hours a day of anti Stephen, Trump material. You're, being, you're not going to give three minutes for the American people I to get hear it. the real experience you, you, of you, Donald Trump. There's one viewer that you care about right now, and you're being obsequious. No, you're being which, a fact no, totem in order to being, please him, okay? No. And I think, you know, I've, you wasted I I think I've wasted enough of my you viewers' know who time. I, you know who Thank I you, care Stephen. about? Ironically enough, that time from Jake Dapper, anytime anyone gets a little bit too based, it's always the call to cut the feed, end the interview. What a bunch of complete phonies. But honestly, at the end of the day here, I mean, I'll criticize them. I'll sit here and go on and on about their horrible bias, their fake news peddling, their endless hypocrisy and unhinged behavior. But I'm also not exactly asking them to stop, especially not in this election, where Trump is clearly successfully casted himself as a martyr. No, my current thought process right now is keep going, keep lying, keep acting a fool during the debates, keep shutting down these conversations and running away from the facts. The more you do it, the more people wake up to your lies, your deceptive practices. The more you do it, the more people walk right into Donald Trump's arms for that deep, warm, orange embrace. Keep on effing around, and you might just end up finding out. Anyways, that's pretty much what I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.